Hello friends, welcome to Input Output YouTube channel. Today we will discuss about a new problem which is max occurring character. Okay friends, this question was asked in Nagaro coding test and uh, this question is also very very important for other companies and other on campus and off campus coding test. So friends, the problem is uh, like that you are given an input. Suppose the input is A, B, C, D and D. So you have to show the output uh, output as maximum occurring character in the input. So here the maximum occurring character you can see here is D and you have to output D. So, okay. So, if you have another input like if you have input like this A, B, C, D, only A, B, C, D, then the output will be 0 because the H characters are occurring same times. So, friends, we will solve this problem in C++ language okay first you know we have to write the basic format of the C++ code so first first include weeds standard C++ dot H using namespace standard Okay, so int main, main function and our input is a string. So string suppose, yes, string s contains a, b, c, d and d. And we have to write a function where we will calculate the maximum occurring character. So the function name is suppose max occur and we'll first the string s okay here we'll write the function and which is a return type and which return type is character because we'll return a character so max occurring and string string is okay and we'll declare an array suppose int count and the size of the array will be 256 because 256 characters uh, okay and initialize it with zero okay we can uh, write 256 as the ascii size ASC double i s i z t and then we have to define it here let's define asc double i ascii size 256 we can also write this in this way so then we have to write the length of the string so int length equals to s dot size and int max so suppose max is 1 and the character resultant character suppose the character is 0 because if there is a no maximum occurring character we will return this 0 character ok so next we will write a for loop for int i equals to 0 i less than length will iterate through all the strings 
so from zero length zero to uh, to the full length length and for int i equals to zero i less than length i plus plus and then we'll count okay if count of s of i s of count will be plus plus will increase it will increase the count value is character and then check if max value is less than count of count of s of i if this so then we'll store the count of s of i into max count of s of i into max we'll store it into max and the character s of i will be stored into the result so r is equals to s of i so s of i will be stored into a result and then finally we'll return uh, return the result okay then that's the code and we'll now run the code if it works fine or not okay compiling our program let's see oh nothing is shown uh, okay okay uh, our problem is that uh, our code is right but we returned here the result but it don't show the output here so we have to write C out because we have to show the result on the screen okay let's run it again okay let's combine it okay friends uh, our output is d so our expected output was d because a b c d d d was the maximum occurring character so our output is correct so our next input was uh, a b c d and uh, our expected output is zero and we'll check it if if it gives the right output or not a b c d and we'll run it again okay zero okay friends that's correct and that's the full quote okay friends uh, hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video then give it a big thumbs up and if you still not subscribe for our channel then please subscribe it now thank you for watching this video